Jeff's house again. He offered to help me fix a couple things on the Jeep. I had that crack on the manifold and I was gonna take it to a shop, but he said he'd help me out and he's a pretty smart guy. He's got a lot of projects over here. I'm with Parker and he's got that YJ. It's got some progress on it. Stupid monster built over here and then all these CJ projects all these CJ projects, so it looks pretty cool. This way, it'll make it longer and shorter, and oh, that yeah, helps yeah. you. I've seen that. That helps things not bind up. With but the these flexing. are just welded in, so that's kind of a problem there. Usually, you'll have something like a Heim joint. That is the best aftermarket transfer case you can get. I want one so bad. Looks my cool. mom just bought one. She's getting one in the TJ thing. Oh, nice. This is my mom's, mine's the YJ. Oh, so the blue Jeep is your mom's? Yeah. Nice. <laughs> at this the whole thing is loose so it might be what's causing the play is right there <laughs> might just need a more powerful tool to get it in or something dumb the crack uh, lowered down where it connects to the muffler like right by the right donut here? yeah right there okay. you just touched it <laughs> so what's going on with the bill over here so right now, these tubes, we got to get them to fit snug in, and there's a few things that have to be trimmed out, mm -hmm. that metal pieces, so if you look along the side back here. So right now we're just notching everything. Got it. And then once it's, this is able to fit in all the way across, we're going to have to notch into the floorboard and have tubes that will go down to the frame. Oh, so like a cross beam from here to here? Yeah, so it's going to be like diagonal, it'll cut through here and then we'll throw plates over everything. So the tube's gonna come all the way down, come through the floorboard, and then catch the diagonal tube. Oh, so you're gonna go like a full row cage connected to the frame and everything? Yeah, yeah. Crazy. You see the, the C-clip right here? Yeah. You see how tiny that is? But this one, it's about that big. Let's go over to mine. Oh yeah, world of difference over here. It's crazy. Out of a 05 Super Duty board. I was gonna say, this looks like something that'd be in like this F-250 or F-350? Yeah, F-250, F-350, F-350, yeah. Dude, it's pretty hollowed out. Yeah, gotta scoot that over in there. Yeah, guys, should get more room. Muffler check. Now we're trying to figure out the weird steering issue. We think we know what the problem is. It's just a matter of fixing said problem. I don't know if there's any difference. It looks like it just needs to be tightened. I wonder if we could, you know, grab it and like put some pliers or something and bend it and then stick it in maybe? Not sure. What's going on I think is it's is it needs to go on this side first and you went in this side first. That might be and possible. That's why it's not squeezing. I didn't even together. think about that. <laughs> is You're that actually is that not even threaded? No, this side's not threaded. Oh, this side is. I feel so dumb now. <laughs> the play is like almost gone now. <laughs> it's gonna feel way better. <laughs> Jeff would be able to weld the bumper for me because you know I'm gonna abuse it and so we made a deal he was my bumper and then I'll buy a street tacos real nice guy helping me out kind of like my first supporter so that's pretty cool and Parker's over here working his YJ got all these projects out here it's like a jeepers dream world over here it's like a playground I can remove that. It's in the uh, UK. Okay. Racing, uh, it's going to race the uh, King of Britain next, I believe. It Are just they raced, going? Just it's... raced the uh, King of uh, Europe. So wait, it's not called off. The whole coronavirus ruined. Yeah, everything. did it? Did it ruin the UK run? Uh, it's off grid. It doesn't make a difference. <laughs> Oh, 
don't think they saw us. Let's get out of here. Sweet. <laughs> Stole the plate. I was so smart. I saw the weld and I was like, oh, that's cool. And I rubbed my finger up across it and burnt the tip of my finger. So that hurt much. That whole weld there that I'm not going to touch again. And then down there, looks good. It'll hold up a lot better with the bumper. Cut a fresh like chunk of metal with the plasma cutter on off of the axle. Yeah. I took a knee and changed my position. Took a knee right on that metal. Oh. And it, the, that was like a month ago, and I still have the mark right there. But that sucks. <laughs> this is my stupid moment. To be adjustable. Um, it's a, that's how you build it. Put it together, Works good. You know, like the hinds and stuff. Imagining the cage. Yeah, I want to put it. I want to bend it early. Put your hand where it's gonna bend. Right Lots of dumb progress made on the Jeep today. Jeff actually figured out what my playing the steering problem was. It was actually really dumb. I put the bolt in backwards so the side that was threaded wasn't hitting so it wouldn't tighten. So the whole thing was just loose and that was causing a lot of play in the steering wheel. So he fixed that. He welded my bumper for me. Now we're just hanging out over here talking about Jeep stuff, off-roading, different stuff. Parker's got his YJ over here that he's building. He's completely building this for like rock crawling. It's going to be like a Bahama dune buggy stinking built with a roll cage and everything. It's going to be a monster. He's over here. It's going to be kind of like this over here, only apparently better. I'll link his Instagram down in the description. I'm also going to link Jeff down there if you're in the Longview area or even if not, I think. He does some really good work. Really nice guy. Does a lot of stuff on Jeeps. Really cool. Just want to show you guys this Jeep over here. These guys bought this Jeep and I guess they were going to you know, build it, put an LS in it and everything, and halfway through they didn't know what they were doing, so they took it to Jeff, so he's gonna finish it for them. I just learned this today, was it an Atlas? Yeah, it's Atlas transfer, transfer case. case. I guess these things are like, yeah, it's an Atlas. I've already asked them like five times, it's like the best transfer case. Is that cup holders? Yeah, it's got yeah. a couple cup holders in there. They even fit koozies with the beer in there. <laughs> <laughs> Giant wheels Max on it, trepidors. big axles. I think there's probably some 16 inch or 14 inch coilovers, some box on there. It's crazy. A Dade Nana 70 and a Kingpin uh, front 60. So it was originally a CJ7 or no? CJ5? No, it was a flat fender. It was probably a CJ2 or something. CJ3. Oh, that's like old school. That's the plan. Well, I'm done with my Jeep. That's what I'm going to do. We're just going to rip it apart like your YJ and we're just going to completely bug it out. I'll save up a couple tens of thousands of dollars and just bug it out. I told Jeff that I would buy us dinner for uh, doing all the work and stuff. So I'm here at Tele's getting some street tacos. Driving the Jeep, it feels a million times better. Um, I think the steering wheel is a little crooked. I never got it aligned because there was so much play, I couldn't tell what was straight. So the steering wheel's off, I think, a little to the right. Other than that, like, it's tight now, it feels good. I think we're about to get our tacos. Haven't seen you in a long time. How you doing? Thank you. Thank you. I don't know where we're gonna put all this. Now that is a lot of tacos. Right, I'm gonna go get tacos. You guys have a great day. I wasn't home all day and Preston got me nugs. <laughs> Thanks Preston.